Hi Aquarius, thank you for purchasing the extended reading. Um, I know that my readings have a lot of, um, it's, of course they're going to tell you what's going on with your situation, but they're also informative. We talk about the cards, what they mean. We talk about, we talk about spirituality and practicality because we can't get away from that. Yes, we are spiritual. We have a spiritual component to us, but we're living in a real world. Okay, these are real fake flowers. These are this is a real stone. So we live in the real world. So we have to deal with practicality or real things. Okay, so um, I just want to say that for somebody. I don't know what. It, I don't know. Anyway, how this person feels about you, Aquarius. So how this person feels about you. Oh, let's pray first. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. How this person feels about you? We have the hanged man. We have the judgment card. We have the page of sword. Interesting. Um, we have the page of sword in the first reading. And then we have the temperance card. Okay. So off the bat, your person does want to pick through the rubble of the tower. So imagine the tower falling down. There's rubble, there's debris, there's stone. You know, it, something, a building has fallen. Your person wants to pick through the rubble and see what they can make of this relationship. So they want to salvage this connection. They want to come to some happy compromise with you. It's like this person sees, you know, um, a connection with you. They see that they can have a healthy, wealthy marriage between the two of you. But they also feel like, once again, you don't know how to talk to people. You don't know how to talk to them. You don't know how to choose your, bat your battles wisely. You don't have any tact, any decorum. You say anything. You fly off the handle. Um... Your mental agility, ooh, strong. I mean, you can go from zero to 110 in what? five seconds, less than five seconds. They are spying on you. They want to learn more about you and what makes you tick. With the page of swords there. The judgment card says that, um, they don't feel like this is over. The final judgment hasn't been rendered in this connection, in this partnership. They feel like you guys should call a truce, come back together, and let bygones be bygones. It is what it is. Let's move forward. We're better together than apart. Um, they miss the friendship aspect of the relationship. They feel like y'all have some contract together that you need to fulfill. They feel like you won't allow yourself to fall in love, to just be. They feel like you don't live in the present. You live in the future. And you're always ready for what is to come. You're always on guard. They feel like you fly off the handle. You're immature with your words and how you use them. And I'm not saying you are Aquarius. I'm saying this is how the person feels. They hate me and they feel like... You know, this is spirit just giving you all a break. Being hands on. Both of you need to go to your respective corners and just find enlightenment. Um, look at things from a different perspective. Ask yourself why you haven't had what it is you really want. And then you got you guys will come back together. This is how your person is feeling about you. This person is not giving up on you. They feel like right now you are very desirable at this point they feel like it's over they feel like in right now you're the unattainable and they're striving to get to you to reach you they feel like you know a lot you're very wise you understand you see things for what they are you see past and through you don't okay the spirits and they feel like you read into situations too They feel like you are above. You are the divine feminine. The empress is not the divine fem feminine. It's the high priestess. 
And the divine masculine is the magician. Um, they feel like um, yeah, you're so wise. You're wise to the detriment of you to to a fault beyond me, your own good, you know. It's not serving you. You are a threat to all other women in their life. You coming up as the high priestess. Because you're coming up as the divine feminine. They feel like you hold the decision in terms of coming back together also. I'm sorry guys, it's so hot. I have this fan going. I know you can hear it. It's it's so hot and they're coming to fix the AC tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um So this is how they feel about you. Like this relationship at times is toxic at best it's volatile it's it's abusive they feel like they're stuck to you they're tied to you you feel like they're obsessed with you or obsessed with the idea of having you they can even feel like you put some juju voodoo whatever on them but this person wants the ten of pentacles with you they feel like you're a forever person they feel like no matter what happens between the two of you, they're devoted to seeing the legacy, the empire, the longevity of this relationship through. They just feel like this is a time where they need to go on some self-discovery journey. They're coming up as the hermit card again. Again, they feel like only you can rescue them. Only you make the decision about forward movement, getting out of this box. They're overthinking about everything. They have negative thoughts. They're trapped in a, in a negative spin thought pattern in terms of you, in terms of the relationship. They just feel like you got to go be on this eight of swords type of relationship for the duration of the relationship where you'll always put them on our heart and time out. I don't know. What's the advice for the Aquarius? What's the advice for the Aquarius? They feel like they've cried so many tears over you. Um, that this has been a very toxic draining situation they also feel like they've added to it they, but they, this is how you guys are fundamentally different they're not viewing what they've done as a cardinal sin as the end all be all as um, a death sentence they feel like it's something that you got to get past and get over you Aquarius you, you looked at it as the end the end period and that's how you guys are fundamentally different how you are interpreting each other's transgressions toward one another you said this you did that this person just feels like it's something that comes with the territory or that you guys can get over it or that it's not that deep or that you're reading into it too deeply that everything is such a, is so, so final, there's such a finality with you. You have to be definite, definitive about everything. You could be dealing with a mutable or cardinal energy. You'll say Aries, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini, Sagittarius, Pisces. What's 
the advice for the Aquarius. What's the advice for Aquarius in this relationship? What's the advice for Aquarius in terms of this relationship? What's the advice for Aquarius in terms of this relationship? The Knight of Coins, okay. So they want you to know that um, you're very stubborn, unmovable, unwavering. At times, um, the relationship can get boring, but you're very loyal. You're not going anywhere. Um, this could be your person, too. I'm going to clarify that. The Knight of Pentacles here also says do nothing because the Knight of Pentacles isn't moving. Okay? The Knight of Pentacles talks about work already done, task completed. It also says leave no task undone. What's the advice? Okay, this, the advice here is that the relationship is not moving forward either because of you or the other person. What's the advice for the Aquarius? What's the advice for the Aquarius? The Five of Swords. Um, question your motive. Question your motive. There could be an ulterior motive on your side. That's your energy, Aquarius. Um, question your self-sabotaging behavior. Um, something about your words your swords the defeat it's not always about defeating or, or someone's trying to defeat you um, five of swords okay so the five talk about instability This is Venus and Aquarius, so look and see where your Venus placement is. This something about self-sabotaging energy, behavior, motives. Okay. Um, again, I think you do things, Aquarius, to win. You want to win. You want to subdue. Oh, you want to subdue the energy here. Uh, but it's not conducive to you guys moving forward. The Five of Swords can sometimes talk about reversal. So things will be going forward or going well. And I don't know, you know, you, you bring the reversal. Again, how you both are looking at each other's transgressions. Um, you look at someone doing something against you as a duel, as a fight. It's a win-lose situation. And you play to win. And you use your words wisely. And they don't edify. They do cut apart. It says sharpen your words here, too. You know, uh, with the five of swords. I think your words are already sharp. also talks about aggression. Self-aggression. Maybe you have a chip on your shoulder and you feel like you need to protect yourself. And any, any whim... Uh, any inkling of somebody trying to play you or put you in a situation where you feel like you're gonna it's gonna be a lose lose for you where you're not gonna win. Um, I don't think you fight. Maybe you do fight, but you definitely use your, use your words and they cut. They cut deep because you're dealing with somebody who's sensitive. They have a sensitive soul. Really told you or shown you or not, um, they do. Um, be careful, some of you, you like word sniffs, okay? And if the magician comes up, the magician rolls language. So you guys are very good at putting it together in terms of wording you know, and uh, words. You cut somebody apart. You tore them down. But that's because they made you feel that way. And you kind of went into what I'm hearing is like fight or flight. I don't know. Maybe at times you chose to flight. But this time you chose to fight. 
and it, it hurts someone. What's the advice here for Aquarius in terms of this relationship? Judgment. It's not over. It's not over. It's a two card. It reduces to a two. There's a decision that needs to be made. You have to make some snap decision here to apologize, to go back to, to rectify, to accept, um, to accept apology. Uh, you made some snap decision also to curse somebody out and to go off on them. I mean, you went from the top to the bottom. You didn't play games here. Okay? Um, and it was a snap decision. Okay? It wasn't one that was calculated or well thought out or you gave yourself time to cool off. It was this is it. You brought something back up. Again, reversal. I don't know if you try to come out of this energy, but something made you revert or reverse back to that um, lower vibrational side of you, Aquarius. What is this about Aquarius? What's the advice here? What's the advice here? What's the advice here? What's the advice here for my Aquarius? What's the advice? The name of coins. Alright, so you're going to have to apologize. Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Why the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck? You're gonna have to apologize. Knight of Pentacles. You have to. You're gonna have to really be be done with with that old way of being, Aquarius. That five of swords. Even when people wrong you. If they haven't physically hurt you, or you're not defending yourself in terms of imminent threat, um, then you just need to walk away. Okay? Um, fight or flight. You just need to walk away. Because you have the ability to tear down just with your words. Also, people respect you. So when you say things, and whether they're good or bad, they respect what you're saying. They look at it as it, it must be truth. It's coming from the Aquarius. Be careful with your words, Aquarius, because you hurt somebody only because, you know, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, Aquarius. They hurt you. But you have the ability to strike with military precision in terms of using your words. Be careful, Aquarius. Be careful. Apologize to those who you feel deserve apology. Move forward. If this person keeps re making you reverse or revert back to that old person, that old way, then know it's not the relationship for you. Okay? I'm not saying that people control you because you control you. You control your emotions. There's an energy here where there's a reversal. What is the name of coins coming up? The page of coins. This person could want to apologize to you. You need to apologize to them. There needs to be an apology made. This person could want to gift you something. Uh, it's the name of Pentacles. The page of Pentacles talks about healthy lifestyle, having a plan, a course of action in terms of moving forward, sticking to the plan, um, learning, divination. The Tarot. Okay. Of course, if y'all read this, be so deep. Seven of Swords. What's the Seven of Swords? Why is the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck? Why is the Seven of Dang, man. One more. One more. One more. Knight of Pentacles again. Alright, what this person was holding back from you? This person was holding back maybe commitment. This person is fucking committed to you, Aquarius. This person is... You could say anything to this person. They ain't going nowhere. 
not for long, not for good. This person is arms crossed, folded, waiting for your return. We have to hang man twice now. The Knight of Pentacles twice. This person is committed to coming back to you. I don't know. It's like, oh, shoot, Aquarius. It's 20 minutes. What is going on here? Why this? Well, this person is trying to act as if they don't care, if they're, if they're not invested with the Seven of Swords. It's like they're trying to get away with being deceptive about their true nature. And it's that they're waiting for you. It's that they're, they're waiting for opportunity. Why the Page of Pentacles? Who, why the Page of Pentacles? Twice? The Hermit card. Yeah, this person you're separated from. Is that the Hermit three times now? This person you're separated from. It's just waiting to come back to you. They're going on their self-discovery journey. It's like you prompted something in them also. Okay? But they're loyal. They're, this is what I'm saying. They're waiting to come back to you. They feel like you're the one that got away. They understand that they need to do something big with you. Move in together. Get engaged. Something of that nature. They, they don't want this to end. They feel like with you, there's victory. There's strength. There's triumph. Um, they feel like this is just the initial stages of creation. This again, they feel like this is just comes with the territory. They definitely want to come back to you. Why the the Knight of Pentacles twice? The Ace of Wands. This person wants to renew something with you, to reignite. They're motivated. They want to throw their hat in the ring. They're up for the challenge. That is you, Aquarius. Says the Ace of Wands. They see health, wealth, happiness in you, with you. The Aces are the portals to the divine. It's like they have some divine knowing, connection, that you're the one for them. They want to start something with you. One more card for the Knight of Pentacles. And why the Knight of Pentacles keep showing up? Why the Knight of Pentacles? Empress. This person is fucking the knave of cups. This person wants to surprise you. Wow, the three of wands, they want expansion with you. They feel like this is just the initial stages of creation. They want to get out of the threes and get to the four of having some stability, but it keeps reversing and reverting back to the same energy. But it's like this person won't give up. The Knight of Pentacles literally talks about not giving up being dog dogged or dog minded or pragmatic or being dogmatic just not moving being loyal uh, the inference this person wants to get you pregnant they want a child with you they want to be with you they want to propose to you they feel like they need to be more em emotional with you or they, you need to have emotional maturity they need to emotionally mature. They feel like um, there's a need for to be more romantic with you. They want to have some happy surprise happen with you. The Three of Wands, they want to expand this connection. They want things to go well. They want um, growth. They're waiting for you to come back. They're waiting for communication. This is fucking crazy. It's crazy because I'm feeling like some of you really tried to push this person away. You tried to make it seem as if you were happy without this person. And maybe you are. Maybe you aren't. Maybe, you know, you think about the times you had with this person, but you feel like you need to walk away. What? I, I just need to know. So, um, is this person waiting for Aquarius to come back? Is this person waiting for Aquarius to come back? Yes, the Hierophant. Shit. Not moving. Traditional. Routine. Regimen. They feel like this is this is the routine of the connection. It's three people. And then the Hierophant. They feel like, you know, um, 
you guys need mediation, guidance. It's a five, too. This, feels, this person feels like it's just instability. It's, it's unstable at best. But they're not giving up. They feel like the energy is just, it just needs to get out of that. That, uh, you, no sixes. No, oh, wow. You know, I, hold on, wait. Spirit just said no sixes in this reading. No sixes. Wow. I don't think I've ever done a whole reading, a whole two readings with no sixes. You know what the six talks about? Balance, harmony. Damn. Damn, Aquarius. Oh, get personal readings if you guys can afford them. Because um, it's going to resonate with some. It's going to resonate with a lot, too. Aquarius, you keep breaking your own house. You keep breaking, hijacking something. I don't know what the fuck. This is crazy. This is crazy. This relationship is... And then two pages coming up. It talks about instability. It's a uh, false start. False start is instability. Only one ace. Ace of wands coming up. On the negative side of that, it's just no progression. It's always a new start. This person has almost grown accustomed to it or used to it. This is freaking fracking crazy. Let me see something else. Um, we'll leave the three of wands there. Is this Aquarius person? Is this Aquarius person? Is this Aquarius person? Is this, Aqu is this who Aquarius is supposed to be with? Is this who Aquarius is supposed to be with? Is this who Aquarius is supposed to be with? Fight or flight. Fight or flight. Oh, you guys choose to fight for the wrong thing. You don't fight for the connection. Again, the end game, the end goal. You're more so fighting the battle, but not the war. You're looking at something um, to you microcosm or micro. You got to look at it macro. What's the bigger issue here? If there are other people within this connection that are causing interference, interjection, causing the instability, fight or flight. You're either running from it, Aquarius, because you don't want to fight for the connection, or you're fighting for the connection. You're not fighting the person, but you're fighting for the connection. Wow. Whoa, Aquarius. Shit. Aquarius, you're not fighting the person, you're fighting for the connection. You got to learn how to fight. You got to learn how to fight. Is this Aquarius person? Is this Aquarius person? I think I'm going to just put this out. Is this Aquarius person? Is this Aquarius person? Is this Aquarius person? Is this Aquarius person? Wow. Get the chariot coming out. Some of you dealing with cancer. It flew onto my laptop. Yes. You gotta learn how to steer. All right, so the chariot talks about control, direction. You control the direction of the seven, because that's what the chariot card is, the seven. Seven talks about relationship, marriage, partnership, interpersonal collection, connection, equality. You control, you steer the direction of this relationship. Learn how to take control and put yourself first. Some of you, when it gets too tough and it gets too heavy, you're just like, I'll just leave. Wow, you could be missing out on the blessing, the opportunity before you. Because you're too busy looking at the three of cups. What happened? What transpired? But you're not looking at the blessing that is that can be this change, this shift in journey, the shift in home, 
Always remember, home can be interchanged with heart. This ch this change of your of heart. You, personal philosophy coming up a lot with the nines. Your personal philosophy is if I have to fight for it or do too much for it or fight for somebody's attention or fight this and fight that, then I will leave fight or flight. I will leave. I will flight. But the universe wants you to know that you're not fighting this person. You're fighting for the connection. And in life, you're going to have to fight. Five of swords, sharpen your words. Selfishness coming up in the five of swords. I think on both parts. You and your person. Hmm. Aquarius. Some of you are just like, and the Seven of Swords come up twice. Five and the Seven talks about intuition together. You're not seeing something. The Four of Cups talks about self centered, self centered viewpoint. Failing, failing to see what's before you because you're too self-centered, too focused on your own emotions. Four of Cups, this is different. This is Cancer. I think it's the last deacon in Cancer. Third, what, one, two, yeah, third deacon in Cancer. Uh, all right, some of you will know that you missed the boat. Okay, thank you, Lord. All right. The shit Aquarius. Yeah, personal reading. Guys, um, wow. Has Aquarius missed the boat? Page of Pencils coming out again? Nope. It's just this card. You need to apologize to the Ace of Cups. You need to let love in. The Ten of Swords. This volatile energy, this volatile connection between you and another person. You need to let it go. Some of you are playing a part in it. Wow, the temperance card at the bottom of the deck. Salvage the connection. Compromise the yin and the yang, the feminine and the masculine. Knowing when to draw from which energy. Knowing when to rest in your feminine or in your masculine. Knowing how to have balance. This is directly connected to the king of cups. Some of you got to balance out your emotions. Allow yourself to be filled with spirit. The Ten of Swords. Some of you, justice, justice will be served. Karma, karma, karma. Keep in mind your karma also, Aquarius. Uh, apology coming in to you. You need to make an apology. It, it probably needs to be mutual. A decision will be made. Justice says a decision will be made. You, and you don't make the decision. A decision will be made. The Ace of Cups, another Ace. Two Aces now. Two Aces in a reading and another page of Pentacles. Definitely at best instability false starts no progression all these fucking starts it doesn't progress anywhere you didn't get above the five you got two three four five and it stopped there at conflict instability aggression and selfishness i still I pull from I pull from three different decks. I still have not pulled a six. This is big Aquarius. I've never, I've never, I have never, never pulled this many cards and not pull a six out of the deck. You know what temper says? Fourteen. That's five. Again, instability. 
shit, Aquarius. I, I don't know, you know, I tough love for everybody. Um, I think you're playing a big part in this. You keep shooting yourself in the foot. You got to do something different in order to see a different result. I know you feel like some of these people aren't for you because they have you in the third party. They had you competing for their affection. Understand that's just a competition. Competition is a five. That's just instability at best. That can be changed. That can go to six, harmony and balance. But I think Aquarius, you withdraw yourself from the fight because you're looking at, looking at it as if you're fighting the person. What's the old saying? Uh, when you get in an argument with your loved one, understand that you're not fighting your person, but you're fighting the issue. Or you're arguing about the issue, you're not arguing about your person, something of that nature. It's like you need to redirect your, your focus, your fight. I think you feel like you need to cut this person out, cut them off. Be done with them, and you'll be done with the fight and the instability. And you're going to find someone else, and then there's going to be no fight, and there's going to be no instability. Well, news is, on my channel, I look at the demographics. Most of you are over the age of 30. At that age, no one is really, really, really single. There are a select few people who are. And that's a beautiful thing, but especially when you get into, okay, so the women on the planet outnumber the men. There you go. Everything is a numbers thing, right? The women on the planet outnumber the men. So we already know we're going to have some sharing or overlapping of the men. Some other woman's going to want your man, or you're going to want the same man. Therefore, there's your competition right there, and you didn't even create it. And the other person that you're vying for didn't create it. They're just going on their merry life, living their life, and they have other people interested in them. Now, what they do in the midst of this competition, how they treat your feelings, what they, how, how they act or react, of course, set boundaries. I don't know what happened. I don't know who did what. I don't know who said what. But it's like you have a person before you that could be your person. But you're not willing to stay in the fight for it. This person also has some growing up to do. And they need to analyze this whole competition thing. This whole several different energy thing also. But it's not what you do. It's how you do it. And it's not what you say. It's how you say it. Again, govern yourself accordingly. Because if it's not adding to... If it's not conducive to you getting your outcome, Aquarius, then why are you doing it? If you know you want to be with this person, why curse them? Why shun them? Why put them out of your life? Why tell them not to call you anymore? Why act the way you act? Why do whatever it is you did? When you really know the end game is you wanted to be with them. Do things conducive to just that. If you're not upsetting anyone's marriage and you're not trying to pull somebody out of a marriage, if it's boyfriend and girlfriend or he's just got other women over here or she's got other men over here, that's fair game. But you have to be willing to fight for it. speaking to I'm speaking to somebody I just heard it they ain't married they single alright Aquarius we gotta get out of here this is this is let me know what you think I'm just reading the cards Aquarius okay all links are below get your own personal reading thank you for being here thank you for staying here this long 40 minutes Ask a question. You have questions, pay for that one question. Ask the Tarot a question or get your own personal reading. If you took something from the reading, give back. 
buy me a coffee. The link is below, guys. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.